Looking at some clouds outside over the triangle right now. Skies are already clearing up in the lakes area. We're at 65 at the Horseman's Western Star, part of the roofing 911 sky cam network. And again, temperatures over the next uh, several nights are going to be in the 40s. So it's going to be cool coming up Saturday and Sunday morning. Then we'll see a warming trend Tuesday and then uh, cooler weather coming up as we head towards late next week. High temperatures because of the clouds and the rain tomorrow after today's front. It looks like we could see about eight, nine degrees below normal with highs low to mid 50s near normal temperatures on highs. That is Saturday and Sunday. Then we'll see a warming trend Monday and Tuesday could hit 75. Again, these are the high temperatures and then we go much colder on uh, Thursday uh, a week from now, maybe only into the 40s for highs with rain. And uh, the six to 10 day forecast looks awfully cold as uh, we could see temperatures several degrees below normal uh, as we head towards Valentine's Day. So wet weather coming up uh, tomorrow looks like I won't say a washout, but it's going to be wet and then uh, pretty decent weather coming up this weekend, maybe an isolated shower on Saturday. Then uh, as you can see, both models show over an inch, particularly as we head towards late next week. Looks like next Thursday and Friday, we're going to be pretty wet across the area. So the front continues to move off towards the east, clearing skies already up towards the lakes area. And again, showers over towards Jefferson County, uh, particularly over towards uh, and then over towards Chambers County in towards uh, uh, Winnie at the present time. Showers also uh, moving in and around and back over towards Mid County. As you can see, and it looks like uh, maybe over nearing Groves and Port Arthur, Bridge City seeing some showers here in a little bit, and back over towards Orange and right over towards Vinton in southwest Louisiana. Lakes are done uh, tonight. Currently, we're at 67 over in Orange. It's 67 in Port Arthur. MJ reporting 63 on the Golden Triangle Emergency Center Weather Watcher Network. In Woodville, Travis Smith reporting 59. Jim Monk and Warren at 62, and over in Jasper, 62 degrees. Further upstream, off towards our north, it's already down into the 30s, into the Texas Panhandle, 40s, Dallas, Waco, 50s, into Austin College Station, 60s, hugging the coast, and back over into South Texas. And those temperatures anywhere from 15 to almost 30 degrees colder up into northwest Texas. We'll get in on that action coming up tomorrow. So again, long-range modeling continues to indicate Arctic air moving into the northern plains. Now, question is, how much of that moves into Texas? Way too early. But uh, we do think that we're going to see freezing temperatures as we head towards not this weekend, but next weekend. If that chunk of uh, cold Arctic air associated with the polar vortex comes further south, then we could see some pretty cold weather coming up uh, late next week. So the front continues to move off towards the east. Look at the clearing skies up in north Texas, central Texas. Just some clouds right along the front. Otherwise, our next disturbance, you can see it right up into the Texas Panhandle, back over towards New Mexico. That will come on in tomorrow. That's what's going to create the rains. And then better weather as we head towards, uh, say, Saturday. Saturday night, another disturbance will be a cloud maker. And then another cloud maker as we head on in to Monday into Tuesday. Tonight, future cast showing those clouds and the rains moving on out. We'll clear on down and cool into the 40s and the clouds come back. We'll add rain in the forecast coming up tomorrow. 50 to 60 percent coverage, probably not getting out of the low to mid 50s across southeast Texas. On the Gulf of Mexico, choppy seas are around three to five feet in your coastal marine forecast with a northeast wind at 20 to 25. Tonight, rain's over within the lakes, so 30 percent coverage in the triangle for the next hour or two. Then clearing skies, low to mid 40s for the morning. Clouds come back, 50 to 60 percent coverage after about eight, nine o'clock in the morning. Highs only low to mid 50s. Extended forecast, near normal temperatures, maybe a slight chance of showers on Saturday. Sunday is the pick of the weekend. Monday and Tuesday back into the springtime mode and 75 with the next front coming in on Tuesday and turning cold and wet as we head towards next Thursday. Could be colder than what I have on Thursday. I'm going with not one model. I'm going with ensemble modeling and that's multiple models showing what the average is. We'll go with about mid 40s for now. Could be colder and we'll take a look at the eight to 10 day forecast, which shows, well, you'll just see in a minute.